Chong pushed the veggies he hadn't touched onto his plate into a smiley face. Shu Qing Xuan adjusted the earplugs and saw the two of them were looking at each other, smiling without saying a word. Your Highness, Crimson Rain sought flower. What are the two of you doing? Did you exchange verbal passwords? And now you're exchanging secrets. Shu Qing <laughs> cleared his throat and said in the communication array with a serious voice, nothing of the sort, exactly of the sort. <laughs> How about we roll some dice? I have a question, Shu Qing Xuan said. Please ask, Xi Lin replied. Why are the two of you so naturally a team? Xi Lin considered, uh, cleared his throat softly. Um, well, if you want to switch the teams, that's fine too. It makes no difference. It does to me. Then, Your Highness, Crimson Rain Sod Flower, I order you to, to immediately strip. <laughs> that was a genuine, that was very genuine. And to immediately strip each other's clothing. Come, 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 don't be a loser, an esteemed heavenly official, an esteemed ghost king. You won't fail, right? I'm sitting in place. Now, please start your show. No, no, it's not a show. Hua Chong flipped his arms, flipped open his arms, mouthing the word, Kuga, it's not my fault. Feeling <laughs> helpless, Shaylian could only ask how much do we, I'm very uncomfortable with this. But Hua Chong doesn't seem to be at all. Just one layer is fine. Keep a few on for later. He <laughs> he. Uh, Hua Chong's face showed no ripple of reaction, but the voice next to Xie Lian's ear was comforting him earnestly. Don't worry, didn't we agree to let them win a few rounds? They'll lose eventually. <laughs> oh, why was that like, uh, that got me very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> He reluctantly shuffled over to untie Hua Chong's waistband. Oh, I thought that was done. He painstakingly helped Hua Chong out of his black outer robe, revealing the snow white inner tunic underneath. Hua Chong also helped him out of his outer robe, looking at ease. <laughs> the two of them really only removed their outer robes. Nothing extraordinary and nothing unseemly. Xilian still felt extremely worded out. It's very intimate in front of other people. This round should be questions. <laughs> Shi Xuan laughed heartily. Ask questions, that's fine too. And then my first question, Crimson Rain Soft Flower, to you, what's the worst suffering in the world? Oh dear. Hua Chong's smile faded away, yeah? To watch with your own eyes. Your beloved be trampled and ridiculed, yet be unable to do anything. That's the worst suffering in the world. Hearing this, Xie Lian's breathing stopped and his body froze in that rundown temple of wind and water. Not a single soul spoke. Uh, first question, who am I? Ming Chong's not the, the thing, is he? You better know. Mm, no, no, they wouldn't do that to be me. However, what if the reverend of empty words really did surreptitiously possess me? Me, okay. The jury will accept that. Continue. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next video, beautiful nerds.